asking about whether the Front for MP, Julie Clark Price, will stand again at the next general election. Yesterday, she told Midlands Today she was sticking by her decision to go after the scandal over her expenses. But then last night she told a private meeting of her local constituency association that she'd like to stand again. Well, Ben Godfrey has been trying to find out what's going on. What a difference a day makes. Only yesterday, Julie Kirkbride gave this response to Midlands Today when asked if she'll stand again as an MP. I, I said all along that uh, I'm nothing firmest of what I said last May. Thank you. Well, what she did say back in May was sorry and that she'd stand down at the next election. It followed a backlash against her expenses, she claimed for their flat in Worcestershire. Her husband, also an MP, claimed for their London home. But sources have told the BBC that last night she told the Bromsgrove Conservative Association actually she'd like to stand again. Tory bloggers have been raising eyebrows. Very worried, really, that not only does this mean that Bromsgrove becomes vulnerable, vulnerable perhaps to an independent Martin Bell, Esther Ranson style challenge, but also potentially the native public across the region. The Conservatives won't comment, neither will Julie Coat Bride. But in a constituency this evening, she did have some support. It wouldn't surprise me if she did stand again and people voted for her. Honestly, I think it's disgusting. I think uh, she should do as she said she was going to do, actually, you know. As long as she pays back the money, then if she's good at the job, then why, why can't she? One man who's not convinced is Mark France, who started the Julie Must Go campaign. Planning a Guy Fawkes protest this weekend, he wants to light a fuse under any potential comeback. Julie desire, decides to withdraw her um, commitment to resign as MP, then I don't think it will come as much uh, of a surprise, but I actually think it's a shameful act. Tonight we're really no clearer, but if there is to be a U-turn, it may only happen if she's in the clear when Sir Thomas Blake publishes his report on MP's expenses. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Bromsgrove. Well, joined now by our political editor Patrick Burns. Patrick, how come then? She said one thing to us yesterday and then something else just a few hours later. Suzanne, her publicly declared position is as it was last May, as she reaffirmed it to us yesterday in that interview, that she is standing down at the next election. But what's happened is that that uh, website, Conservative Home, have actually got on the inside track of that constituency party meeting last night, at which she uh, basically confirmed speculation that we've reported on this programme as well as elsewhere, that she would very much like to be able to reverse that decision if she does get that all clear that Ben Godfrey was talking about in the leg report. She'd like to. What do you think? Do you think she will? Whether she will or she won't, whether, whatever she would like to do and whatever, frankly, is in that leg report, it all boils down to a political decision that will have to be made by the local constituency party and, frankly, yes, by the party as a whole, which boils down to whether she is an electoral asset or a liability. It's as brutal as that. She does have quite a few strong supporters in the local party, but significant that she has her critics there as well. Okay, thanks very much indeed, Patrick. Patrick.